How's it going YouTube? This is Wake Run Collapse and welcome to another opening. Today I'm going to be opening for you guys the Giratina vs. Dialga deck kit. Now this one is pretty old. It's been sitting there for a long while. It used to cost 1500 yen and I don't know what they changed it to but they did mark it very, very clearly that it is no longer 1500 yen. Uh, this was released uh, all the way back in like 2008. I think it was a tie-in to Giratina and the Sky Warrior, which is pretty cool. Uh, what I'm really coveting is that beautiful Shaman coin right in the center, which I am keeping, keeping, keeping. On the back, it says stuff that I don't understand, but hey, it looks cool and convincing because of the Japanese language. So we're going to open this thing up right here and right now. It's pretty cool. I uh, might actually have, well, first of all, no idea how to open this. Ooh, there are tabs on the bottom. Is this how you get in? Is there a tab on the back, too, or is it just right in the middle? I'm so confused. Oh, maybe I can get in here. That would be the worst burglar of all time. There we go. Progress is being made. This is not how you're supposed to open it. So rather than cut myself and bleed profusely on camera, we're just going to try to get the cards out now. Hang on, we're going off, sc off screen. Off camera. Yeah. Oh, so there was kind of tape on there. So for those of you who enjoy the fact that I struggle with tape all the time, well, you have more to look at. There's extra plastic on top of the extra plastic. Yeah, this is kind of crazy. So we're going to get rid of the packaging, but first we're taking the coin. Ooh, and it's first edition. I don't know if they made it an unlimited edition or not. I love this coin. This might be my f new favorite coin. It's beautiful. Oh, shaman. You go over there. Nice and safe. So, here you've got the back, your damage counters, which again, I don't do a whole lot with. Uh, a diamond and pearl version of the book, which is showing you how the game used to be played. And perhaps some of the cards you find here or in accompanying sets that were released around July of 2008. Uh, and this is advertising a thing. Do they have the online... Yeah, they've got web series stuff right here, or web stuff in general. Maybe they had an online game at the time, too. I don't know if Japan currently does. Uh, but without further ado, let's get into the decks. Um, thinking I'm going to do... Yeah, let's do Giratina first. I have my phone out with me so that I can read off some of the trainer cards. Because I'm not going to remember those names. It's not often the iPhone comes to use, but you know what it does is for Pokemon cards. Uh, there's your Giratina Hollow, uh, featured in the half deck. Uh, looks like we have a Dust Noir Hollow in there as well. Uh, probably already have these two cards, but it's cool to get them featured in uh, in mint or close to it condition. Uh, there we've got some Tricos, uh, Grovile looking very nice. Aw, oh, look at the Shaman. That is cool. Uh, Duskull. There's a Dust Clops right there. There's a Miltank. Trying to be called on in class, it would seem. Uh, so, let's zoom in for the trainer names here. So, we've got Energy Switch right here. A double full heal over there. That's just got to be a Pokeball. Uh, this one is Warp Point right there. Get right over to that Bonsley if you can. Uh, Mom's Kindness. I think this lets you draw a couple of cards. And this one's got a cool name. Miasma Valley. This is probably released in English, but I still think it's cool. Uh, I had looked it up at the time, and I guess... Uh, when the stadium's in play, if you play a basic to your bench and it's not grass or psychic type, then you have to place two damage counters on it, which is nifty. As are the energies, grass and psychic, of course. So that's a cool half deck. Now let's get into the other half deck and see what other nice stuff might be inside of there. Yes. So this is, again, a Dialga card that I definitely have, but probably don't have in this level of condition. I'll be sure to sleeve it along with all the other cards afterwards. And there's a Magnazone Hollow as well. So a deck kit like this gets you four hollows, gets you Shaman coin, it gets you other cool cards as well. So if you can find it for cheap, I would definitely recommend it. 
Uh, Magnemite right there. Magneton. Uh, there's a Voltorb. And an Electrode. I was hoping to see that. And Skarmory. Very nice. And a Farfetch'd. You don't see Farfetch'd and stuff very often these days. Uh, so into the trainers. This one is a Super Scoop Up. Piplup on for a ride. There's another, another Double Full Heal. Uh, this one being a Switch, uh, Pokeball again, and another Mom's Kindness. And the last one is Conductive Quarry. Uh, and this did something like, well, this is in play if it's your turn, you flip a coin. If it's heads, uh, you can take an electric or a metal energy from your discard pile and put it into your hand. That's what I think it was. And there's your electric energies, and there's your metal energies right there as well. So, pretty cool double half deck opening, especially for one that's been sitting around for a while, collecting uh, Poke Dust. So, I will uh, get to sleeving these cards afterwards. Uh, I am shooting all of these videos, all the videos that you saw Monday through Friday, I filmed on Sunday night. Because when Monday arrives, something's coming, and I need to work on it for the rest of the week in order to get it ready to be posted over the weekend. So, I hope you will enjoy. No spoilers. Thank you very much for watching. If you would like to, I would love for you to leave a comment down below and let me know what some of your favorite cards are from this deck kit and whether you enjoyed it or not. Of course, if you did enjoy it, hitting that like button is a great way to show your support. Quick, easy, simple, and such. And of course, I will see you guys tomorrow for something pretty memorable. Yeah, it's going to be pretty memorable.